We have just over two weeks until Election Day. Last night we saw a debate doubleheader for two Washington positions. Now the second debate of the night actually saw two candidates vying for one of Washington's two U.S. Senate seats. Democrat Patty Murray currently holds this seat and has held it since 1992. Her opponent is Republican Tiffany Smiley. This is her first time ever running for an elected position. Drew Mickelson from our Seattle station has more this morning on the candidates debate. It was a little like a political prize fight here on the campus of Gonzaga University. The challenger, Tiffany Smiley, came out swinging, but the incumbent, U.S. Senator Patty Murray, responded with political jabs throughout the night. We just heard a whole slew of things that I'd love to take time to rebut. Throughout the hour-long debate, each candidate got in their digs. You know, Senator Murray, you're not the mom in tennis shoes anymore. It's been 30 years. You've become a career politician. I feel like I'm listening to Mitch McConnell on the Senate floor, so let me take a breath. I took on Washington, D.C., Patty, and, and, and I won. You've never taken on Washington, D.C. You are Washington, D.C. How much can I correct in 30 seconds? So first of all, the homeless, how to best care for salmon, and a dozen other topics were all covered at the Spokane showdown, along with issues that could determine the midterms, like abortion, would Tiffany Smiley, a pro-life candidate, vote to ban abortions nationwide? I've been clear from the very beginning. I oppose a federal abortion ban. Um, that's long before the Supreme, the unprecedented leak from the Supreme Court. Um, the Supreme Court's decision gave the power to the people, and that's where I believe it belongs. I respect the will of the voters here in Washington State. I hear my opponent over there saying, I'm 100% pro-life, don't worry. I gotta tell you, I was in the Senate I saw Supreme Court nominees come in front of us and say to us, I'm pro-life, don't worry, and look what happened. The January 6th riots came up too. Senator Murray said Smiley's questioning of the 2020 election but sows I'm mistrust for our democracy. My husband lost his eyesight fighting for our country. He's here in this debate listening to us. He lost his eyesight fighting for democracy, and our family lives with that sacrifice every single day. It's certainly why I'm in this fight as well. And so I, I want to ask, you know, do you believe that me and my family are a threat to democracy, Senator Murray? Because tell everyone here today. No one questions her belief in our democracy or her husband's fight for our country, ever. But do not conflate that with misconstruing about the intent of insurrectionists who were using their brute force to overtake the peaceful transfer of power. Smiley blamed Murray for rising gas prices and crime, saying it's time for a change. Murray says there's more work to be done. I feel good. It was an opportunity to share the contrast and the difference between the two candidates. I wish it was before ballots dropped, um, but, you know, I think my plan is clear. I have an agenda for recovery and reform. We need to turn crisis into hope for all of Washington. Senator Murray declined our request for a post-debate interview. In an emailed statement, her campaign says that Senator Murray won the debate, making it clear to voters that she is the strongest, most effective voice. We only showed you a couple of minutes of the debate. If you would like to watch the entire 60 minute event, you can text the word debate to 509-448-2000 and we'll send you that link. In Spokane, Drew Mickelson, Krem 2 News. And coming up in our next half hour, we will hear from candidates for the Secretary of State during their debate at Gonzaga that happened last night as well. But first, let's take a look at the latest polling numbers between Tiffany Smiley and Senator Patty Murray. As of right now, Smiley is actually gaining some ground. This exclusive poll was conducted by our Seattle station King 5. It shows Murray is still in front with 49% of likely voters saying they would vote for her compared to 41% for Smiley, but 10% remain undecided. So when compared to previous polls from July, Murray's 18 point lead has narrowed to just eight points since July. Murray is down two points while Smiley is up eight. Now, like we've been mentioning, we're just about two weeks out from the midterm election. If you are a Washington voter, you should be receiving your ballot in the mail any day now. In Washington State, you have until next Monday to update your voter information online. But you can still make changes in person at any county elections office until Election Day. Now, in Idaho, the last day to register to vote is this Friday, October 28th. And the last day for early or in-person absentee voting is November 4th. 
but both states do allow you to register and vote on Election Day at the polls on November 8th. Now, if you'd like more information on the issues that will appear on your ballot here in a couple of weeks, all you have to do is text the word vote to our number 509-448-2000, and we will send you a link with all of that information right to your phone.